In this video, we're going to focus on adding labels in a database. And this is part six of the Chart.js MySQL database series. So should you do this? Well, here's a note. You should not always do this because it will always depend on the product. But let's look at our case here. So for example, here we have all of this. And this is basically a Cartesian style of axis, meaning the X axis here has a uh, label value. So there's no numbers in here. If there would be numbers, this needs to be skipped by default because it will be automatically. And if you have like dates or specific month, it will be different as well. But where can you apply this? Well, basically, if you have like these kind of situation where you, for example, want to compare products, let's say if all these are all different products and every product makes a certain revenue and what we want to do is we want to get them here and display it all right so to do this this will mean that it will be linked directly in here where we indicate in our data points the data here and of course the label that is matched in here so let's go and put in here what we're going to do is we're going to add up a structure in here so we're going to add up a new column and this column will be just at the very end so after the description label ID, and we can give this the labels as a name. Should this be label? Well, in this case, it's the labels. Well, I guess label is as well. And what we can do here maybe to make sure, label access. All right, so to ensure that we don't get confused with anything else, we are targeting the Cartesian axis. So, we have this here now, the var chart, and here I would say, let's say 25 characters should be more than sufficient. Save this. All right, so once we're done, we have altered a table. We go back to the browse. You can see now we have our axis here, but if we click on it, we need to put in the value. So what are, we, what are the values we can do in here? Well, quite simple. I'm going to use here just small characters, and afterwards we're going to loop it through and make it uh, uppercase for the first character or capitalize and I realize in JavaScript it is not that easy compared to PHP so what I'm going to do is we're going to create a PHP version for that so first of all let's start and work on this so we have here let's say this product is the um, standard I have no idea I'm just making up stuff as we go then here we have the next one this will be uh, deluxe pro plus um we can say here green i'm just making a green uh and we have here the gold package and we have here uh the uh is it the diet diamond package sorry that's the right spelling and here we have maybe country package so we say here asia package uh north america package and we have here well let's let's say here the european package so europe package so we have different kind of packages what it is i don't know i'm just making it up as i go so you can do that as well so what we're going to do is here this is the label axis that's the column name so what we need to do here basically not that much here since everything here is already connected here and it understands that this here the id here it will grab all of these so what we want to do here is just here we grab here our item here we have to make an array so we say here label axis is an array and this array consists of the following well we can just do it here below we say here label axis equals and here make sure this is brackets because then it will indicate it is a an array and it will loop through the array so basically here we have like a push structure they say label Axis, all right. Oh, sorry, not that. I need to say row, label, double quotations, double quotations for uh, PHP. All right. So if we have this now, we can grab this one here, the label axis, and or just put in here label axis, and then we can say here. Well, I'll just grab it here with the revenue, since these two are quite similar to each other. So I'll just put them together. Put in this. All right. Enter here. And then we say here, label axis will be in here. We have here the labels. Let's delete all of these. There we are. Save that. All right. So if I refresh now, you can see now we get all of these nice packages matching here. We have the revenue. And I realized I put in here capitalized letter. Am I correct? Yes. 
So let's say this should not be. So sorry, I, I was expecting it should not be, but I guess my this is a default thing. But let's say we have this. So this means that our data is a slightly uh, mess. The reason why, because the reason why I'm trying to say this, is if you have a standard, it's always better because then you can always adjust the standard. Because now imagine here you would have this and then you have some that is not and the others are yes, uh, fully capitalized and others not. You need to convert them all. And that's uh, usually a lot of work. So I highly recommend use a standard. And from that standard, you can start to design or redesign the format of the font style. All right, so let's start and do the revenue and we do all of these as well. So in here, I, I was not aware that JavaScript was so hard because they have the capitalize and the lowercase function but I'm surprised that they don't have a specific function for the character like in CSS you have the uh, capitalize class or ba basically font style capitalize where it will capitalize the first character so what we're going to do in here and this is very nice with PHP PHP does have this option so what we're going to do here is on the uh, label axis we need to make an uppercase first so we will only uppercase the very first word in our item here. So we say uppercase and first just copy it like this. All right. So this will force and it will loop through every label axis. It will be uppercase the very first character basically. Uh, uppercase. Oh, sorry, not uppercase. Is that? I think this is good. But let's double check this to, to check. All right. So uh, up first, I, I will just check here. Just give me a minute. I'll just check this. All right. So after checking, I just realized it was. I was just questioning. I I did sense it. So it's not up for up. It's upper case with the letter C, of course, because the up is just from upper. All right. So if we do this now, we save this. All right. Refresh. You can see now everything is upper case, or at least the very first. Item. So what happens if you have a word here? So for example, you want that. You can do here upper case. So you see word. If we do this here, refresh. Oh, let me double check. All right, it was not word. It's words. Sorry. It's a letter S. All right, which makes sense because it's multiple words. So let's adjust this one here, and you can see as well how that will uh, eventually look like. So we have here the gold package. So we say gold package, and here we just say here green. It will be green package all right refresh and now you can see green package and gold package are now matched all right same story here you can use uppercase first or you see first or we do you see words one or the other i guess words would probably be more applicable the reason why is that sometimes you might have a longer description with multiple items in here for example uh, the um, here like revenue for abc or something like that all right so once we have this here refresh it there you are that looks nice but now we have everything here accordingly and this is absolutely perfect so now it's match completely thank you for watching this video and i hope you enjoy it and if you enjoy this video you probably will enjoy this one as well and if you're interested in chart.js yes, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.